How's it going everybody? It is Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys We got a f-350 here. That is right an f-350. Let me show you here It has got a v8 uh, box motor in right now from Ford uh, It is currently seen uh, seen better days. It is basically just Entirely one big ball of rust so you know, it's that's whatever but we can fix it. We can fix anything um, but see, yeah, we're gonna be working on this one in today's video. Um, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be making it a lot nicer than it is, uh, just by adding nicer tires, nicer rims, you know, basically just souping it up and uh, selling it for a lot of cash here. So, yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be what we're doing. So let me get this thing moved. All right. So first things first. Let's see. Let me check something really quick. Let me check and see if we got any body tuning things in here. No, no F three fifty body shop. 350 okay so we only have the stock stuff which kind of sucks but it's all right actually let me just look yeah okay i see this all right so we're gonna save some money though and we're gonna repair some of these body parts maybe repair uh right rear fender here actually i thought this was a clamshell that we could take off but uh never mind all right let's shred all these body pieces Nope, that's radiator supports. Can I get the lights off? Wait. Running boards don't come off? Okay. Yep, 1%. That's what we want. All right, so there we go. This is what it looks like right now. Completely torn down to nothing. Uh, let's tear out the inside too. Nope. Give me that wheel. And bench. All right. Now... We should probably do interior detailing. We should clean the inside out. So I'll show you guys what the difference is. You see this like aluminum looking trim pieces. Obviously they look like they're like rusty or just spotted, tarnished, whatever you want to say. Let's see if I can show you it. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it on the right there. And bam. You do that and they instantly just go straight to looking polished and chrome. See, so yeah, that's super nice. All right. Let's repair all the parts you can. Wow, we actually repaired every single body part. That is insane. I uh, I'm uh, I'm shocked at that one actually. I will I will genuinely say I'm genuinely say I'm shocked we were able to do that. Okay, we can send the detailing kit back and we can get working on this. There we go. So as you can tell, the frame and body were painted black originally from the factory. So I think we're going to go through and change that around and use something else. I'm not sure what color yet. Uh, maybe a white or a light gray or maybe a blue. I'm not sure. I don't know if I've painted one of these a blue or red yet. So we might do that. But all right. Now that that's off, now we got all those all done. You get this bad boy in the air. We're going to get all the way in the air here. All right. And we're going to do the suspension real quick. There we go. I'm going to get the other tire off. I just usually don't do the suspensions, so you know what? I'm I'm feeling suspension today. Let me get over here. And plus, this is a pretty easy one. This is a pretty new uh, F350. Got all these tires off. I got to pick another tire out of the shop, actually. So once we get these tires off, we'll go look and see what we can get. All right, so what are those? Probably 19s. 19 would be my assumption. 20s. Okay. So let me write this down really quick just so I know exactly what we got here, guys. Um, okay. Let's see. 275, 65, by 20s. All right. So. I think what we'll do, since we do, we do have a lot of space still uh, sitting up there. I think we're going to upgrade rim sizes. Um, and for the rims, so the F350 rims are the stock ones. We could switch to something nicer here. These ones are neat. These ones look an awful lot like the Dodge Ram ones. Hmm. You know what? Those are 80s, 90s. We'll switch to these. We'll do these ones right here. 
I've, I have decided. So we're going to get four of these at 21 size. We'll bump it up, give it another another inch on the rims, and then we'll get off-road tire Bs like it had originally. We'll get four of these at 21 inches. And for width, we'll do 275 again. The profile this time, we'll back it down by 20, and we'll bring it down to 45 from 65. All right, so we got all those purchased. Whoa, what was that? Oh, we got a plus quality rim. What the heck? All right, so there's one. All right, so basically, as we go along here, and as I do the uh, the suspension, we'll be swinging over every once in a while, just uh, pull one off, transfer one over for the uh, the tires and rims there. Probably after each uh, major suspension part we do. All right, so you get the brakes, brake discs, drive axles, and I don't even drive axles, just axles. And then that's gone. I really am starting to enjoy the leaf string suspensions. Uh, just because they're not nearly as uh, crazy as the um, the normal like cross member and like 10 piece uh, suspensions. A lot easier basically is what I'm trying to say here. A lot easier, less parts. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six parts if you include bushings. This side out. All righty. All right, there we go. And then the rear is done just like that. Super fast, super simple. Swap these around. As you guys see, this doesn't have the center cap on it right now, um, or it's not nearly as shiny, but when you put them on there, they uh they're a lot more shiny yeah like right there doesn't show it very well all right there we go i'm gonna wait for that i'm gonna go through here that was a lot pull that get you hopefully we'll have at least one rim ready to go so we can actually uh test fit it up here that's why i'm doing the rear right away is i want to I want to be able to test fit everything we just did. Oh, sweet, we saved the, the springs. We saved most of the leaf suspension, I think, actually. Two plates. Okay, we need one of those. All right. Yeah, and we are approximately less than 1,000. Oh, no, less than 2,000 pieces um, away from leveling me up here. So if you guys don't know how the leveling system works is... You either get levels from completing missions or from every single time you take something off and you put something back on, it gives you a one full uh, one full point. So it's like in between, it's like two point two thousand points in between every single uh, mission there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be taking a long time here, but I'm getting closer because 49 is the second highest level, 50 is the highest level. And then we unlock a new skill tree, which I'm not sure what it is. Um, but it's called it's good to be lucky so i think it's got to be something with breaking parts which is uh gonna be real convenient for me because i break a lot of parts daily so let's see brake discs we're gonna need new brake discs for the front and rear here so let's go pick those up we're gonna need two ventilator for the fronts two vent or two bright regulars for the rear because most of the braking is done in the front so you need more cooling over there Good brake pads in. All right, we're gonna have to get another full caliper, actually. Let's get the caliper and the cylinder. All right, let's see how these bad boys look. They're not bad. They do kind of have the uh, the steely design, if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's uh, just like the normal steely uh, steely rims. A lot of like uh, beater cars have them. So it's definitely uh, not the flashiest looking of the rims. And I probably I probably could have redone the other ones, but hey, it's okay. Alright, leaf spring. Get the U-bolts in. 
right, now we need a knuckle housing C. Let's see, knuckle housing C. And then while we're here, we can also pick up our, where's it at? Our fuel tank. And then we'll also grab, oh wait, no, we already have one, we already have one. I was gonna say, we'll also grab a fuel pump while we're in here. Say, while I'm down here, I might as well get the fuel tank all fixed up, ready to go. All right, awesome. Break disc, and then here we go. I don't remember if I have the other tire on me. I think I might. Yep, all right. All right, awesome. The rear suspension is now done. So that is, the car is halfway drivable now. And now we gotta do the, uh, the bigger challenge here, which is gonna be the front. Uh, I love the look from going from a completely, like, whole, like, the whole half of this is completely rusted. And you go to a completely clean and, like, all brand new steel and everything. I just, the transformation for me is just so cool. And I'm really, really, really quick at this game now. Now that I've done, like, a hundred and some cars. Alright, get that out of there. And voila, it is that easy. That was that side, now we'll do this side real quick. I like to do the lower or the bottom and upper suspension arms uh, first, just because they take up a lot of space and once I get them out of there, it makes it way easier. All right, caliper gone. A bearing, ventilated disc. Oh, can't forget this last bushing here. This one will stop us from pulling this thing apart. Front drive axle D, steering rack, sway bar B, and cross member. And done. That uh, that took me like a minute. Putting it back together is a lot harder. Especially when you break literally every part like I just did there. Alright, so we need a double wishbone shock absorber for the front here. Then we need springs. We need two front springs and we need to go pick ourselves up some caps so it's a three-part system here we'll let those join together I got our last wheel here I think it's our last wheel there we go yeah I am actually I'm basically was it 1700 away so 1700 parts is what I need to do and each car probably has like 200-ish parts on it, so basically you just got to do that many cars. Uh, let's see, cross member. I think it was cross member C, right? Yes. We need front drive axle D. Let's see, front drive axle D. Why am I... There it is. I was like, why can I not see this thing? Um, and then we're going to grab our sway bar stuff. We need the B end links and then the front B bar. Uh, what else are we going to want? We're going to want tie rods. We're going to need two for each side. All right. We'll go grab another knuckle C. Yeah. Uh, suspension is probably the most boring thing to me, though, guys. Uh, I like doing the motors a lot more. Uh, what else was I going to get in here? Oh, yeah, steering. All right, and after we finish this here, after we finish this last uh, this front suspension, we'll be cutting to uh, finishing up the body next. Let's see, have any upper suspension arms? Oh, we saved both. Impressive. Save one bottom arm, that's all right. One is better than nothing.
Do I have all the rubber bushings in? Okay, I think I do. Yeah, see the difference between this rusted and this new is just night and day for me. It just looks so much better. All right, let's see. Front wheel hub, two front bearings. And ta-da, it is done. That side's done at least. All right, pop on over to the other side here quick. So I got this guy. All right. Oh, we don't have the bottom. We have the upper though. Doing suspension does drain your uh, your bushing super fast though. All right, and then let's get the axle I needed. Axle A, and then we're gonna need a brake cylinder and a knuckle cover. All right, put that one on the list. Okay, there we go. Now we'll get our cover here. Oh, actually, let's do axle cover there we go so we don't do that if you just do cover there's an incredible amount of cover do every single head cover for every engine in the game so yeah you gotta switch that around Hub bearing break, break disc all right sweet no parts wasted All right, there we go. And there is the front suspension done. That does, wow, that boosted up to 48%. That is not bad at all. And now this is a roller too, so I can move it around and roll around the shop um, and take it to each location that I need it to be in. Um, but hey, let's see here. Let me sell all of the bad parts. We just pulled off this. Three and a half thousand dollars worth of bad parts. All right, let's see. We saved our hood. Saved a bumper. All right, so you need both new front fenders. All right, we need both new front fenders, rear bumper. I think we always need lights, yeah. Got the teal doors saved, I guess. Um, all right, so we need, I think I, I think I got it. So we need lights. We need right driver's side door. We need rear bumper. Uh, and then uh, which one of these fenders? Was it the rear left fender? Oh no, I guess the rear's good. All right, get the doors on. Get the, we'll do the fenders next. All right, and we need a right side mirror. All right, that should do it for us, I think. Um, where's the right fender? Looking, looking, looking. How? I, oh, there it is. I was like, how am I missing this? There it is. All right, I think that'll finish up every body piece except for this front left. And then we'll grab windows for everything. Both fronts, rear doors, and the rear facing window. Awesome. This alone will increase the value on this thing 10 times. Oh, yeah, 93K already. Ooh, perfect. All right. So the last thing we need to do here is we still got to do the interior, but we got to do some new plates. Plates actually count towards the uh, condition of the body. Okay, what am I doing? Oklahoma. I need two of them. 
custom, if you would. Thank you. And thank you. 100%. There we go. Uh, let's let me back this off the lift really quick. Move it to garage entrance A. I still got to get a few more things. Got to get the interior uh, settled away. Otherwise, got no place to sit. Uh, not 350.350. There we go. Uh, and then we'll just do these. Yeah, I was gonna say, are we gonna, are we gonna switch it? But we can't. We gotta stick with the, uh, stick with what they give us. There we go. Get all the good stuff in here. We sold all the bad seats and everything. So, all right, there we go, guys. Let's get this moved over to paint shop real quick. Get a fresh coat of paint on it, and you will not even be. You, no way you'll be able to tell the difference between what this is and what it was. So. Let's see here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, we'll get the brightness and saturation up. And we can look around here. What about a... Hmm. Lime green. You know what I haven't done? I haven't done a yellow. A yellow-orange. Got any libraries? All right, we got some stripes. Can we get all oh, some... Oh, right. Go no further. We have the color. This thing looks mean. Oh, I could have went with even larger tires too. These are 21s and they still do not even fill anywhere near uh, what I could be going with. Those are 21s, right? There's no... Dang, I don't know. Maybe I just need to, maybe I just need to crank the, the size up on this. Maybe I need to go to like 30s. But there we go. Move it back to the lifter. There you go. Now all we gotta do is get the uh, the motor done on it. But I think I'll probably redo the tires too. I must have done the wrong set of tires. There's no way. Twenties. And those are twenty ones. I guess it's gotta be the profile. All right. Well, in the next video, guys, I'm gonna crank that tire size up, and we're gonna improve that by a ton. We're also gonna redo this boss motor here and get this bad boy pushing some real power again, because uh, this is an F three fifty, so. You know, it, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be pushing quite a bit. It can tow basically anything. But there we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. If you did, would you, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like down below. Also, if you guys are not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, but until further ado, hopefully I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.